All right, so tonight I am here to talk to you all about why roller derby should be an Olympic sport. Oh, the yoga girl got to take that out. All right, so my name is Andrea Hill, and I skate under the name Kendra Blood with the Denver Roller Dolls. So roller derby gets a really bad rap. A lot of people think about the sport and they envision the old fights from the 30s and 40s and elbowing and fist punching and things like that. But it's not the way we play now. The way we play roller derby now is a real sport. It is still very aggressive. We still hurt ourselves too, figure skater person. But we actually... So, so the way that the, play, the game is played is that each... See? Thank you. Okay, so each team has five peoples on the track at the same time. Four blockers and one jammer. You know who the jammer is because she has a star in her helmet. To make this a... Uh, to translate it to any other sport, basically the one with the, the star in her helmet is the ball. She's the point scorer. She's the entire point of it all. The point of the other four people on the track are to help their jammer get through the pack and to stop the other jammer. And they can do that by getting in front of her, by whips and pushes. As I said, it's still a very aggressive sport. There's just no elbows and fist punches. Come on, guys. That's for the after parties. So the way you can tell which jammer is scoring points, well, no. The way you can tell the jammer is, that is the lead jammer is that the referees are pointing to her. She's the one that has gone through the pack first, and she's able to score points. So my, the point of my topic was why it should be a Olympic sport. And so what I wanted to do is take a moment to tell you why it can be compared to other sports. Right now, in the Winter Olympics, there's a lot of other sports that are being compared to roller derby. Speed skating is like roller derby. But ski cross is like roller derby. But the funny thing is, the athletes in those sports don't want to be compared to roller derby. They say it's too aggressive. <laughs> and by the way, I am Canadian. I think I like this side of the house. So why isn't roller derby an Olympic sport? If we're looking at a sport that's very aggressive, it's very physical, it's also got a lot of strategy, why isn't it an Olympic sport now? Why can't we go out and do that? And unfortunately, they tell me that there's actually some rules to get in the Olympics. There's some eligibility requirements. Exactly. So basically, to become an Olympic sport, a game needs to be played by men in 75 countries and by women in 50 countries. And there also needs to be an international governing body. Well, as it turns out, we're already at 14 different countries across the world. There's teams in Australia, there's teams in Germany that are already playing roller derby. And you'll see down here, there's actually men that are playing as well. So there's no excuse for all of you not to get out there. There is actually a governing body already. It's called the International Roller Sports Federation. It was founded in 1924. So this has actually been a long time coming. And the World Games has actually seen some roller sports in a few different disciplines. So we've already seen artistic roller skating, we've already seen inline hockey, inline speed skating, and rink hockey. Now the one thing to notice is obviously roller derby isn't there. But the stage is being set. The International Olympics Committee recognized roller sports in the 60s. Roller hockey became a demonstration sport in the Olympics in 1992. And roller sports was considered for the inclusion in the Olympics in 2005 and golf won instead. So, so what I need for you all to do is to help me get us to the Olympics. There's two things we need to do. First, we need more international participation. So call up your friends in foreign countries and tell them to strap on some skates. And we also need some fan support. You know, golf got there because they thought people would watch it on TV. 
So we need all of you guys to get out there and support your local teams. Colorado is actually known for being a huge roller derby state. We have something like 11 leagues in town. We have thousands of skaters. And so I really encourage you guys to get out, check out this sport, because I didn't do a very good job explaining what the heck it was. And uh, hopefully we can see it go on in the future.